but let's get over to our Caroline Flynn working for you tonight with how some people in Spokane are braving all that sm snow despite dangerous roads out there. Caroline? Yeah, well, Casey, today I talked to some snow warriors who weren't letting all of this snow stop them. Meanwhile, the city says that they are in the middle of a full city plow, which means about 50 employees are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week until all of the roads are cleared within the city. Now, that usually takes about three days, but given all of the snow that we saw today, it could delay the process a bit longer. They're confident that the main arterials are mainly bare because of how many people travel on them. So now the focus is on residential streets. You might have seen some new snow equipment out today as you made your way around. The city brought out their four-wheel loaders with snow gates to work with some of the plow trucks. They kind of look like tractors you would see at a construction site, but are actually being used to keep snow from piling up in front of driveways. As the city continues to make their progress, people who need to get around during this busy time of year aren't letting snowy streets stop them. More snow, lots of slush, and some iffy roads couldn't keep Spokane inside. Many were out early to get a head start on shoveling. While on the roads that the plows hadn't quite reached yet, others took matters into their own hands. As there was shopping to get done and people to see. For Alden Stanger, it was the man in the red suit. He wanted to make sure Santa brought him a means to get around in all this snow. Cut down sliding snow. The Stanger family had a full day of holiday activities planned and wet roads weren't going to get in the way of that. Where I come from is there, there's a lot of snow, so the snow is really nice for, for us to enjoy. <laughs> the snow also wasn't stopping Daniel and Maria from going to the chapel and getting the perfect shots to remember the happiest snowy day of their lives. No, it's beautiful actually with the snow. Yeah. We actually wanted to have some snow because, I mean, without snow, winter is kind of, you know, not Just so cold. pretty. Yeah, it, it, it's cold, yes. For the bride, the conditions were no match. She braved the cold in just her beautiful white wedding gown. It's all about the shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dress will be taken off, but the pictures will stay. While people aren't too concerned about letting the snow get in their way, the plows are focusing on residential hill routes like North Indian Trail and Five Mile, and then regular residential routes like Chief Gary Park, Logan, Emerson, Garfield, and Nevada Heights. Casey, to help the plows, people need to remember to park on the odd side of the streets and leave a 36-inch path cleared in front of their homes. And if you have any questions or you need assistance, you're asked to call the city at 311. Live on the Sky Deck, Caroline Flynn. KXLY 4 News. Great information there, Caroline. Thank you so much.